Today we are reimagining a classic and giving this 1963 scene a modern twist. Come check it out. The other day I was watching Jason and the Argonauts, a 1963 Greek mythology flick that, by the way, you should watch if you haven't seen it. It's awesome. Well, I'm not going to go over the whole plot right here, but in the climax of the film, Jason goes to fetch a magical golden fleece and gets confronted by a hydra. This thing's pretty cool, especially because it's a miniature animatronic that they did stop motion for. But it's kind of small, kind of puny, it looks like it would die if you stabbed it. Oops, did I just spoil it? Now, now, put down your pitchforks. This story's been told for thousands of years. If you don't know by now, that's on you. Anyways, people these days expect bosses to be huge and giant and scary. And that's why today we're gonna go over step by step how to put a modern twist on this cult classic. Let's get started. Alrighty, so here we are in the world of Photoshop. And first things first, we need a background, of course. We got this dirt ground, and we're gonna throw a rock texture to build our cave out of. Now we are literally gonna just paint in this cave entrance and just kind of wing it. You know how we like to do it. Next, throw in some pre-isolated rocks. Do some duplicating. Wait, this guy kind of looks like a face. Oh, yeah. Anyways, more boulders, more rocks. Duplicate this one, put it over there. Now we got this awesome tree thing growing out of a rock and we're just gonna isolate it. I think pen tool will be best. Let's check it out. All right, looking pretty sharp. All right, so now I got this tree, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, now hit mask. All right, we got our fleece, and by now you know how to isolate things. Perfect. That saved us some time. So if you notice here, we have some watermarks, and those are no good. We gotta get rid of those. And how exactly are we gonna get rid of them? You already know, clone stamp. If anyone ever tells you clone stamps are not valid, you need to cut them out of your life. The majority of this is going to be obscured anyways, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now we're going to spice up this entrance a little bit with an actual cave entrance. So we're just going to kind of place it like so. Do a little erasey erasey, a little flippy flippy. Lovely. So now we're gonna drop in our night dude, our hero. Size him up, flip him around. Perfect. And of course his epic boss nemesis that's hiding in the cave. So this is going to be a hydra, which is basically just a serpent, snaky monster with multiple heads and one being immortal, of course. We're gonna go for a smoke and mirrors approach, but you get the point. Snake heads everywhere. And of course we need a surprise snake right behind him. Now we gotta dust in some shadows. We're just using a brush. Now we're going to clip a brightness and contrast layer to the snake. We're gonna bring it way down. And then what we're gonna do is invert the mask. Now for shadows, we can just paint them in. Notice I'm only at like, what, 18% opacity? That way we can really slowly build it up. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but on a global scale. Awesome, now that we have all our mid-range shadows in, we can start adding highlights. This magical fleece is, of course, one of the main light sources. So, once again, we're gonna do a brightness contrast layer clipped to it and just start working it in. The secret is to nest your clipping masks. Now we're going to do a similar technique but with a hue and saturation layer. Make sure you clip it and hit colorize. Now we just have to pick the color and crank it. But once again we're going to invert and then paint it in. Say it with me. Paint it in. That's right. Now we're going to kind of jewelify these eyes by just painting them bright red and setting it to overlay. 
And now a big bad fancy glow by literally just tapping the paintbrush. Oh, I forgot, we need some residual glow from the snake. As we round third base, we're gonna add in some more shadows manually that are kind of environmental. I think we need a couple more snakes in here, so we're gonna add one or two more. Gonna do the same thing we did before, mask, clip, and paint. As I'm doing that, I'm just gonna add in some shadows that I see that I missed. Just kinda throw out a little bit, give it a little bit more depth, dimension, dynamics. And of course we need some foliage to frame this thing. Whenever your piece is missing something, it's usually plants. You need more plants. You, there's always a need for more plants. Now, of course, this is mysterious, so we need some fog, and I'm actually just using a cloud brush upside down. And I'm basically going to go back and forth erasing and painting with the same brush until it looks nice and right. And of course, once we bust out the particles, you know we're nearing the end. So we're just going to put a blend mode on here and start erasing. And of course, the final step, we're going to add a camera raw filter. So let's see how we did. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think this one turned out pretty cool. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It really helps me out. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of my other videos. Or heck, just subscribe. Alright, that pretty much wraps up this video, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.